Happy Monday, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Weatherbug and meteorologist Todd Nelson. We'll look at that national coast to coast forecast. A wintry mix showing up in some spots for the northeastern quad, uh, quadrant of the nation here. So you're commuting to work and school, probably not the greatest either heading there or even heading home. And another storm developing out west. This is some flash flooding taking place in the desert locales of the numbers for you in just a second, but definitely an active pattern showing up. Now, warmth and humidity is building off to the south, and that may set the stage for some severe thunderstorms by tomorrow and even on Wednesday on ahead of a potent cold cold front, which is going to be tapping in to some of this very cold air up to the far north. And we're looking at some of this cold air once again to return back into the lower 48. So yesterday we were anywhere from 10 to near 15 degrees above average. Not sure if you uh, like this mild weather in uh, January. It's nice to see it in some cases, but I'm a big fan of winter. So when you're talking about readings as uh, warm as this has been, it's hard to get that snowfall, but winter weather headlines have been posted once again for places out west and on the order of uh, several inches of precipitation there uh, over the next five days, which I'll show you in a second. More winter weather headlines have been posted for tonight and through Tuesday across the far north, and this is where uh, we do expect to see uh, additional snowfall amounts on the order of maybe five to eight inches, but uh, we've also had winter weather headlines posted in the northeast. So this is an area that will experience some icing, a little bit of icing, some sleet, and then also some accumulating snow. Uh, what you're seeing here, the number is the snowfall from yesterday. So a little bit more as you work up into the eastern Great Lakes region. But precipitation again in these areas has been on the order of a few one hundred seven inch to upwards of a few inches of uh, rain. I shouldn't say maybe an inch or inch and a half. There you are in Flagstaff and Phoenix picking up over an inch to an inch and a half and that's all liquid rain in uh, most cases but that's our next storm system. Let's follow that one as it shifts off to the east again your high elevation snow showers a little lobe of breaking off and heading up into the upper Mississippi Valley but there is our severe threat from Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday and uh, our severe threat here on uh, Tuesday actually is uh, going to be in these areas and then uh, by Wednesday everything will shift off to the east a little bit so I had this mixed up here's Tuesday from the Ohio Valley all the way down into northeastern Texas so tomorrow could be a very interesting day for us and then on Wednesday everything will shift off to the east five-day precipitation tallies on the order of a, a few inches from the Great Lakes down into the lower Mississippi Valley and snowfall again in the Intermountain West and also through the upper Mississippi Valley looking to be a little bit uh, greater temperature trend then showing that cold Colder air slamming in by midweek, and we're going to have that Arctic air sticking around for much of the week here, but uh, very mild in the south-central part of the country today.